Hi, let's talk about run rate. Uh, question number one, what is a run rate? According to Investopedia, the run rate refers to the financial performance of a company based on using current financial information as a predictor of future performance. Uh, to put it in a more simple way, uh, the run rate is the best estimate for the result of the whole period before this period has ended. Uh, this period could be a week, a month, a quarter, a year, any period. Uh, what In which industries is run rate really relevant? Well, uh, basically, in it is relevant in sales organizations from manufacturing to e-commerce to wholesale to retail any organization that is selling something and is and needs to obtain its sales plans so how to calculate a run rate well uh, there is a example in our video which i have prepared uh, suppose that today is the morning of 12th october 2018 and we have the revenue data for our product category game consoles we are an e-commerce shop we have 11th uh, we have uh, the sales data for the period from 1st october until 11th october we have sold 55,000 US dollars worth of goods. Our result for, for the whole period of 2017 October was this one. And our budget for October is here, 147,000. It is obvious that at the present moment, we, are, we have not met our budget goal and we are underperforming versus the previous year. However, we need to have our estimate of how the October 2018 will end. And uh, the best way of it is using a run rate extrapolator with help of which we'll extrapolate this number and get our best estimate for the whole October. So step number one, uh, for as I need these kind of templates in my everyday work, I have prepared a template in which I can choose any year until 2024. Today is 2018. Month, uh, we have October. And uh, since uh, this template is taking account, into account the fully ended days, we have 11 days passed in October 2018. 35% is what we have. 35% is uh, number that is showing. Uh, is telling us of where are we in October. After 11 days, we have the of October says gone. So this number is a run rate extrapolator. Let's use it in our estimation for October's result. Well, we, we can on the way of on our way of uh, overperforming last year's results and we are also on our way of overperforming the budget for the october by five percent now um, i should say that there are uh, 
a couple of methodologies of how to calculate the run rate extrapolator and the run rate. The easiest one is uh, by using days. Its cons are that um, it does not take into account those days when you are not having any business, when you are not selling. For example, on some many organizations, I should say most of the organizations are not working on the holidays or uh, weekends. And so you get a uh, quite ki kind of uh, dis distorted result for the run rate if you use if you are using calendar days the most more precise way of calculating run rate is using networking days it takes into account weekends and uh, in this example pub added public holidays i have added all the us federal holidays until 24 in this template and uh, you can add any public holiday relevant in your period or in your country sorry or your state to this example you can delete any holiday that is not related. for example in us we have uh, we have one public day uh, on eighth October. This is public day, and uh, because of it, we have twenty-two working days in October. But for example, in Germany, there are two public days that are uh, actually weekdays. So. Germany. If you if you are in Germany, you should just delete the information that is not relevant. And just add the dates of your public holidays into this sheet. Now we can see that instead of twenty two working days, we have twenty one days in October 2018. Let's go back to the US federal holidays. You can see that uh, compared to methodology of using calendar days as a base for our relations, this, uh, our estimates rate and how we are performing when we are using calendar days for the base of our calculation, 